Wow, look at all these massive rigs. I heard that the marine and offshore engineering industry designs, construct and repair vessels as well as mobile offshore rigs. Singapore is the global leader in the building of checkup oil rigs as well as one of the world's premier ship repair centers. Let's go into the world of marine and offshore engineering industry. Looks like a promising industry to be in. But first, I need to find out more about the working conditions before I can let Boboy consider it. Excuse me, miss. Oh. Yeah, you need to be in your safety gear if you want to be around the yard. Thank you, thank you. Don't mind me asking, who are you? Okay, my name is Rizwan. I'm the health, safety and environmental manager. Part of the main job is to ensure that the yard is a safe working place for everyone to work here. And of course, uh, it is important because I establish, manage the health, safety and environmental systems in the yard. It is important that we develop a culture of shared responsibilities between employees and contractors because they are all of different cultures and races. Not forgetting, the yard needs to be able to respond and deal with any emergencies. And I do that through training and drills. This industry really prioritizes its employee safety. Now all my worries have been set aside. Thank you so much for your dedication in maintaining everyone's safety. Sure, thank you. Did you know that in 2015, Singapore's marine industry employs over 100,000 workers and generates an annual turnover of $10 billion? Singapore's marine industry started off as a humble centre for ship repairs. This dates back to 1859, when the first dry dock was built. In 1969, Singapore delivered its first jack-up oil rig. Now, we command 70% of the world market for jack-up rigs. This inspires me so much whenever I think about how far we've come. Hey, hello, excuse me. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. You look like you're in charge here. What are all this? These are actually new structures that we are fabricating here and we'll bring it on board once it's completed. Oh, I see. You sound so knowledgeable. What is your job here? I'm Jay Hui. I'm the assistant production engineer here and I'm overseeing the steelwork here. Oh, an engineer. Nice to meet you. Can you tell us more about your job? Okay, my job involves coordinating the steelwork that we have and also planning the manpower daily for deployment on the next day and also ensure the workers work safely. That's a lot of responsibilities. Can you share with us about the industry as a whole? Yes, I've been in this industry for almost three years. The Singapore and Marine Offshore industry has seen significant growth over the last 40 years, evolving from a small regional ship building and repair centre into a world-class industry, serving international clients. The industry includes ship repair, building and conversion, rig building and uh, offshore engineering, some other marine support services, among many others. This industry relies heavily on technology, which requires well-trained manpower. The Singapore marine and offshore industry stretches way back to 1963. Singapore has already built a pool of experienced and skilled marine offshore professionals. Wow! Experienced and trained professionals just like you. Boy boy, I hope you grow up to be as knowledgeable as him. Thank you so much for your time. Today, we are going to answer some of the questions that you have for the marine and offshore industry. Let's go! How can I be sure that this is the industry for me to join? Well, our job may be physically challenging, but if you have the interest and drive in what we do, you can definitely excel with hard work. Is working in this environment dangerous? There are certainly risks involved as with many other industries. But we put in safety measures in place to make sure it's a safe working environment for everyone. I saw you coming down from this large ship. Did you help to build it? Yes, I'm part of the project team for this ship. Wow. Can you tell me about what you do? Sure. I'm Kelly, Senior Project Engineer in charge of this ship. I'm in charge of the living quarter construction and upgrading. My day-to-day -day job includes uh, coordination of different work activities on board the vessel. My roles and responsibility includes project management, contracts management. I have to ensure that works are carried out in a safe and uh, achieve quality standards uh, that is satisfactory to the client. Your job is so crucial to the progress of the project. What advice would you give to my son if he wants to join the industry? Well, first of all, he has to be uh, interested in the marine and offshore industry. He has to be keen to learn. Um, a good grasp of mechanical engineering would help. And of course, not to be afraid of challenges. Seize the opportunities that he has and perform his best. 
I wish my son was here. You'll be such a good role model for him. Thank you so much, Kelly. Wow! I'm amazed by how far the marine and offshore engineering industry has come since Sir Stanford Raffles founded Singapore as a free port. Working in a world-class, globally recognised industry that greatly contributes to Singapore's economy, I can't imagine a better workplace for my son.